Good morning. So today we're going to be introducing the Blue Energy 2 tile. Uh, the part number for that is going to be the STEVEL BCN002V1. This is a new product being released, an EVEL kit being released today at ST DevCon. Uh, and I'm going to go through some of the features for you to give you an idea of what it can do and what you can use it for. So if we take a look at the features, uh, it's a 25 millimeter diameter board with all the different sensors that ST offers. We, we've broken it up into connectivity, inertial and environmental and proximity, as well as microphone sensing. So we have all these different sensors built onto the device itself. The main heart of the device is the Blue Energy Dash 2 Cortex M0 microcontroller and BLE radio. This is running at 32 megahertz with 256K of flash, and it allows the whole system to operate and it runs all of the different sensor algorithms uh, that are running on the module itself. If we go around the circle here, we have the BLE antenna, we have the uh, MP34 DTO5A microphone, the HTS221 pressure sensor, the VL53L1 proximity sensor, the LIS2 MDL magnetometer, the LSM6DS0 accelerometer and gyro combo, and lastly, the LPS22HH ambient pressure sensor. So all of these sensors are running uh, on the application space that's running on inside the Blue Energy Dash 2 and the 256K of flash. The Blue Energy Dash 2 also has 24K of, uh, of RAM to, to run the application. What we have uh, is coming in a kit that looks like this. It's, uh, it comes with a coin and a uh, daughter card, and I'll step through that in a minute on how that attaches. If we take the, uh, the coin, it runs on a, on a CR2032 battery. As we plug it in, it will connect with our system. This is the Blue Energy MS app that's running on either Android or iOS. So we can take this, this application uh, and, and get all the feedback from the sensor itself. As we scroll through the screens, we have, um, what's, this is our, our, our three axis accelerometer, gyro magnetometer, uh, ST sensor fusion algorithm running on the device itself. If we activate the proximity, we then have using the, the VL53L1 proximity time of flight sensor, we can actually do uh, measurements of distance. As we scroll through, we have different uh, activity events, uh, such as a wake up. So when you tap it, you can wake something up. We have the ability to just turn the light on and off. If you turn the light on the LED, I can just turn it on and off. Uh, and one of the nice things we have is also the ability to record audio directly to the tablet and broadcast it out of the tablet. So this is using the microphone and the ADPCM codec built running on the, S on the Cortex M0 of the Blue Energy Dash 2 to send audio over BLE to the, uh, the tablet. There's also a compass reading, so you can actually use the device as a compass. This is based on the magnetometer of the device. So one of the features we have is the ability to take this data that's created on the sensor tile and actually take it to the cloud. In this case, what I'm going to show you is on the Blue MS app, we'll, we'll scroll here to the IBM Watson. We have IBM, uh, Watson, Microsoft Azure, and Amazon AWS capabilities. In this particular case, we have uh, enabled the uh, IBM Watson capabilities. So what we can do is we can take the sensor data. In this, in this case, what we'll do is we'll pick the temperature, humidity, and pressure data and then we're gonna actually activate that and send it to the cloud. So in the Blue MS app, all of this is built in. So you can just easily visualize this all in, this, in the entire app. So when I push the view that visualize the cloud data, this data is now being sent from the sensor to the tablet up to the IBM Watson cloud and then it's being visualized back on this website. So here you can see temperature. We, we can take different points of temperature, pressure, and humidity uh, and we can graph those on a display in real time. So this, is, this allows you to actually see data and let other people see data or see remote data from your sensor. You can see the, the tile board actually on its motherboard here. <clears throat> so this is how you can actually take the, the device, reprogram it. It's obviously very small and not easy to connect to. So we've created a, develop, a daughter board, motherboard situation where you can plug the board in and be able to program it with the STM32 uh, dev tools. This is the STM32 Nucleo system. This is the small board uh, that fits along with these devices. So there's lots of different usage modes where you can use the device. Uh, 
You can use it just the uh, navigator and programmer. Um, you can use it as a uh, any with any of the IDE tools. Uh, we can use it with the STV Link 2, which is not shown here, but uh, this is the actual ST Link uh, tool that you would use to compile with uh, and connect to the board. And we also have the Nucleo ST Link built in here. So for more information, you can go to www.st.com and search for blue tile, or you can also search for the part number STEVAL-BCN002V1. Thank you.